Hello there, everyone. My name is Oversoul. This is Oversoul Gaming, and I'm here today with special guest Darklight Dreamer. Say hello. What's going on, guys? And we're playing this game called We Were Here. It's a uh, free-to-play game on Steam that is co-op, and it's like a puzzle adventure horror game where we're trapped in a castle together, one of us in a library and the other roaming the castle freely as we have to work together using clues that either of us have to solve puzzles and both get out alive. Hopefully. Hopefully. That's the key there. Hopefully we don't die. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Full disclosure, when we played this in a practice round, he drowned me, so... <laughs> All right, everyone, so we skipped the intro scene because it just lags like all hell, but we're in the castle now, and here's a... Oh. Hey, uh, this is a little different from when we played before. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, oh, so the first... interesting, then. The first time we did this, uh, folks, there were eyes on the... Um... Okay, so, like, you see on my wall here, I got this message that says the answer lies, and... Over in your room somewhere, you should have the one behind the eyes, correct? Yes, between the eyes. Between the eyes. Well, here's the thing. Um, the last time we played this, the eyes were on our uh, shelf. Or were... These two pillars right here, these eyes... Oh, I see now. Never mind. I had to pick up the walkie-talkie. The eyes were closed, and there was no symbols on the wall. They were expecting me to pick up the damn walkie-talkie first, which oh. we're not even going to use because we're talking through Discord. <laughs> okay, so to give you all an idea of how this game works, on my end of things, there is, as you can see, these two eyes here and um, the bunch of symbols on a wall. Now, I have to tell him... He has a, a chart somewhere in his room. Are you looking at the chart? As you can see right here. Okay, good. And so on his chart, there will be a bunch of eyes, um, as you can see. And in between those eyes will be symbols. And I have to tell him the eyes that I see on my screen. And he gives me the corresponding symbols that will open the door. So I have a red eye on the left and a green one on the right. Red on the left and green on the right. Let me see. Here we go. Oh, uh, one is the T with horns. That's the left symbol. Okay. And then the circle with the three lines through it is the second symbol. And we move on to the next area. Sweet! A door Moving should on. also open on your end as well. Yes. So I can move forward! And now you're in a room full of pictures. Weird, creepy ass pictures. They're not ass pictures. They're like pictures of animals. But some well, of them are this... asses. <laughs> This one is odd, but this one is also, like, less odd than most of them, if that makes any sense. Because some of them some of them are, like, seven different animals with a skull for a head, and this one is literally just yeah. a bird. I mean, this one is... Look at that shit, guys. Look at this. Look at this. This is weird. This is fucked up. What you got? Okay, so it's literally just a bird with two two faces. Like, I... it's, a, it, it, it's, it's like a stork, and then... Um, the front of its head is like like a normal bird, but then it's got like a. If if you look at the back of its head, it's got a parrot's beak, so it's like a bird with two faces. You know, it's funny when you said it was the most normal or more normal than some of them. I thought uh, that's the one you were talking about because I was really? looking right at. I'm like that one looks relatively normal, so I think that's the one. Okay. Compared to the rest of them. Okay, so now he has to tell me the symbols under that picture, and I have to go and grab these off of this wall and put them in their corresponding places. Okay, so the first symbol is a penis with cum okay. spreading at the top. What? <laughs> it's phallic shaped. It looks like it has a penis head, and it's got a little doohickey on top, like it's spurting out. Uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, oh, I see. Yeah, it's um. God, I hope this is the right one. <laughs> Why didn't you just say one. it looks like half of a basketball court? <laughs> because my way was funnier. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> it's uh, foreshadowing on how we're going to get boned later on. Most likely. Especially <laughs> with supposedly this marionette we can't sneak past or whatever. Uh, the second symbol looks like um, a stick figure, like the two legs, but instead of... it's. It's like it has a stick figure with half a head missing and the two arms reaching up like towards its mouth. I got you. I think I think that's what this is. Sweet. The Kool-Aid man got skinny. 
<laughs> People got tired All of them right. breaking through their walls. Oh, the third one looks like a flower. Uh, I'm going to assume it's this. It looks like a rose. Yes. Or, yeah, okay. It's like a stem with two things on the sides and then like a rose of two triangular thingies on top. Oh shit. Remember how I told you last time that uh, we did this and the uh, first door, something started banging on it and it's not uh, not too happy? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna, um, you're gonna, when, when you go back and see this, you're gonna hear what I was talking about. You should have heard it when we test played anyways, unless you weren't paying attention. Uh, I think I did hear it, but, like, it wasn't super loud, like, I passed it already. Mm, okay. Yeah, it's pretty unnerving if you sit there and listen to it for a while. It almost sounds mm. like the door is going to break down. Okay, now, before you drown me to death this time, please let me tell you what the color is. Gotcha, gotcha. Not touching any any valves yet. So, All right. so... The door says purple, so you need to turn red and blue, red, right? Red, red versus blue? Yeah, whichever two colors make purple. That should be the one. If you drown, you know that's not how you make purple. Nope, the door is open, so we're good. <laughs> All right, now this is where we're going into unfamiliar territory, so. Oh, it but got really dark. Here's my question. Why would we need to extinguish the torches? Is that going to be a thing later? Huh. I might need your help here. So I'm, I'm up on these two gates, right? And I pull one lever, and one gate goes up, but the other goes down. Okay. So, and the lever the lever that I have to pull requires me to go through the gate, which means that once I'm through it, I can't pull it to open the other one. So there's got to be something on your end. There's cool. also a message here that says, bring down the guiding light, I think it says. Bring down the guiding light. What the fuck does that mean? You're uh, asking me. I don't own the damn place. Is, is anything happening? No. Uh, okay, let me try the other Wait, thing. What did you do? I pulled a lever. Okay. Let me try this. Maybe, maybe don't pull random levers without knowing what they do. Because <laughs> I, 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 nothing happened, but I'm just, <laughs> you're going to push the wrong thing and like some spikes or some shit are going to come flying out. I just feel it. That, that's never happened before, man. I've Hold never on, touched me... things randomly and gotten you killed. Hold on, let me let me put this lever back up and then let you mess with stuff and see if it does anything. Cool. All right. Are you in a new room, by the way, since we empty, emptied the water? No, I am not. I'm uh, not that might around. be the problem. Do Maybe. you see any? Do you see any levers with white tips? Look for that. That's right. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm so stupid. I could reach the lever from inside here the whole time. <laughs> Guys, you have no idea how long we've been looking around this place for an answer to this really difficult puzzle. <laughs> uh, difficult, my ass. It was just a matter of me hitting a button. I didn't realize. Well, you can understand if one gate closes and the other opens, you wouldn't think. You would think that there's something you, that you I would, would need help with. Yeah. Logically, yeah. All right, shit, now I don't know. Okay, now you're probably gonna have to use this map. So I am standing on a compass. I'm assuming red is north. Bring down the guiding light, I'm facing this. Let's see, to my left is some stairs going down. To my right is just a regular ass hallway. All right, to your left is a, is a stairway going down. Yeah. It's and to your right is a hallway. Also dark as shit around here. Okay, okay, yeah. I think I see where you might be at. Well, behind me on your map should either cut off or lead to a long. It, it looks like that's where you. It looks like it comes. That's like that's where you're coming in. Okay. So good. The, so that's that should be the white gate, right? Should be a, yeah. It's the white gate. There yeah. we go. I can see where All you're right. at. So. Do you have a set of instructions for what I'm supposed to do here, or am I just supposed to aimlessly walk around and hope I don't die? Okay, so let me I let me just look at these books. Perhaps it says, uh, "The now these books say in the western corner lies your start. Keep moving north, but watch your step. Before the last tile, you must head east." 
before the last tile, you must head east. Oh, mm-hmm. Jesus. Okay, so in the western corner? In the, the western west corner start. lies your start. Keep moving north, but watch your step. But before the last tile, you must head east. Okay, so if red is north, then I want to go down these stairs to my left then, because that would be west. I was afraid of that. (laughs) Why were you afraid of that? Because this place is not friendly looking. (laughs) There's a lot of menacing suits of armor staring at me. Uh, uh, There's also a green book here sitting on a barrel. I wonder if that corresponds to your book. Interesting. It says, after these two steps... This is the westernmost corner I can possibly get into, so... But it says north, and going straight north from here just leads to more suits of armor, so I'm assuming it wants me to start in the western corner leading up the stairs to this picture at the end? Possibly. Oh. I don't know what the hell that was, but something was moving. Oh, that's not cool. I forgot if there's a crouch mechanic to this game or not. Don't die. Don't die, Eversoul. Stay with me, buddy. Try not to, but if I die, we're switching. (laughs) Okay, I don't know. It said before the last tile go east. That just leads me up the stairs. Also, I'm looking at a picture of a dog. Right now, do you have anything to go along with that? Is there some kind of indicator on your map about a picture of a dog? Uh, hold on. Let me reactivate the map thingy, Mavaber. I think that's I exactly to... what the lever does. Okay. Because I, um... Because if I have to go left, that's fine. Because whatever was slithering along the ground went to the right. Uh, there is no painting indicator on the just literally uh, blue lines and hollow uh, blue lines, hollow squares and um, X's and arrows. That's all that's on the map. Hollow squares might be the pictures. Well, one's in the middle of a hallway. It's a blue It's a blue uh, hollow square is the nearest one to you. And then there, like further north there's a green one and a red one. Oh, hell no. I'm not going that way. You can't see anything literally impossible. Maybe that's why I need to guide you. It says, after these two steps, uh, take one step towards the south, head for the eastern wall, then you may proceed towards the door. Oh, I'm staring at the blue gate right now. Okay, cool. I... Okay. I wonder if that means the blue one's next? Well, I went through the blue gate, but... Okay, well, no, I went through one part of the blue gate. Oh, I see. Blue lines on the bottom. Okay, I got it. Okay, so I am am at the blue gate, but I think I have to activate the blue gate in a different area. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, tell me where the blue gate is on the map and tell me where I have to go from there, because... If there is, is it does your map indicate some kind of lever corresponding to the gate? Somewhere uh, that might be the X's, and if that's the case, it's wherever you were starting, where the stairway was on the left. If you head east down the hallway just a bit, there should be a another stairway to your right. It's in the back of that room. Uh, staring at the painting of the dog, or at the very beginning of the stairway? at the very beginning where you just came into the room and the stairway was on the left and the hallway's on the right. Turn, you're going to turn right down that, that right hallway and then you're going to turn another right into that room. Okay, so I'm go down this hallway and then there is a room at the bottom of these stairs. And that's where the blue X is. Oh, I see it. All right, so I pulled the lever. Cool. Hopefully didn't get myself screwed in the process. And if you're t- you're going towards the, the blue square, the hollow blue square, that's going to be your right path. The solid blue blue square is on the left path. 
It's a rectangle, really. I don't know why I keep calling them squares. They're not even. I don't understand what these things correspond to. All I know is I'm going in the same direction of that thing I saw slithering around. I'm through the blue gate, by the way. Cool. I guess that was the thing. All right, I need to reactivate the switch because it fades away after a few minutes. Okay. Okay. Oh, looks... I'm, in, I'm in a room with a green lever now. You're, okay. I'm standing um, literally right next to the green lever. Cool. So if you pull that, there's a, um, there's a hollow green rectangle straight ahead. And the other way, like past the blue gate, is a solid green rectangle. Mm. That should be where the red switch is. If you backtrack and go the opposite way. Okay, so pulling that lever actually closed the green gate, which appears to have already been open. Okay, I wonder if the, the switch swaps them out. You know what I mean? Like the hollow one and the solid okay, one. Okay, here's the red gate. The red gates, I'm staring at the red gate now. Okay, cool. Uh, there's a, there's a switch like on the opposite way. Okay, I see what you have to do. You need, <laughs> if, okay, I'm, you need to, if, I'm, if I'm facing the red gate, immediately facing it. And the green gate's to your left, right? Uh, yes. Okay, go backtrack back through the green gate. Oh, Jesus, okay. Hit that switch to swap the gates. Okay. Then you need to go all the way back, backtrack all the way around. Past where you started. Oh, fuck. And you need to hit the blue the blue switch again. It's a good thing I have a good sense of direction in these, I would say, because okay. I was able to go exactly back to where you told me to without even having to think about it. Guys, if this were me, I would be lost. So it's good that we're playing these roles. Yeah good until something comes up and bites my head off. <laughs> Alright, so having pulled the blue lever now, what do I do? Okay, when you go back up the stairs, instead of going left, go right. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, please don't poke me with something sharp. <laughs> After you're done weaving through these hallways and uh, back into a, a larger area, if you go to the right, there will be this is linear. Um, I'm about to go through another, a different blue gate, I think. Yeah. Okay. Went through the different blue gate. Go through there and you'll enter a big area here in a second. To the right up the stairs. And yep, I'm in a big area. Now what? Okay. Now that you're in the big area, turn right to the, towards the south wall. And there will be an, a green gate that should be open now. And there should be a red switch. Turn right towards the south wall. Um, yes. If you just came off the stairs, like where the where the blue gate was, you'll be facing the east wall. So if you turn right, you'll be on the south wall. Just came off the stairs where the blue gate was. Well, the blue gate was actually through a long hallway, and then yeah. there were some stairs after it. Right. Okay, after you, so after you exit at the those very stairs. top of the stairs. Okay, so you said right. turn right? Right. Correct. Okay, well, turning right faces me towards... This is a corner. Right, so it, it's going to be on that opposite corner on that wall. Uh, so, so follow well, that wall east. I can't reach through walls, so... Okay, I see, so I have to go... I'm going to have to go down this flight of stairs here. Yes. And there should be a red switch there. Um... Okay, so I'm through the green gate at the bottom of the stairs. Correct. And there's a red switch down here where? It should be towards the back. Towards the south wall. Oh, I see it. Now what? Okay, that sort of swapped you out. Yeah. So, uh, actually, this it should be easy from here, actually. Instead of, you know what? Instead of hitting that switch, since that gate was closed. Oh, no, you, gotta, you, no, you do need that open shit. Okay, <laughs> okay. so... Oh, yeah, we were on the right track before. Okay. So since you hit that, you're going to backtrack again. All backtrack the way back to, around. Where the, where, the the green switch, where the green switch was. Oh, Jesus. 
it's just an excuse for them to make me walk through this creepy Back castle and all over again. Yeah, basically they want you to be scared shitless. Is it succeeding? It's... The atmosphere is very unnerving, yes. <laughs> basically, not... you're going you're gonna to go back to the, to the green switch. You're going to activate it to swap the gates out. Go back through the green gate that was near the blue switch, the green switch, and um, go through the red gate that should now be open. Then freedoms, hallelujah. Every uh, the blue gates closed now, though. Oh yeah, you're gonna have to re-switch those too. Forgot about that. My bad. Uh, where's the blue switch again? <laughs> it's right uh, it's here. near the near where you entered. Yeah, that's right. It's right down here. Oh, no, 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 that's right. It's to the right of where I entered and down those stairs. Right, right. Yes, sir. Okay, so there's two sets of gates for each switch, and it corresponds to them. That's why, that's what the whole thing with the white gate was at the beginning, to show you how it works. Yes, and that's what the guiding light was, because whenever I hit the switch, it, it activates the map. The lights uh, okay. on the map. Oh, these developers and their... F think they're so punny. <laughs> Funny, guys. Funny. Funny and punny. Okay, so I'm supposed to hit the green switch? Yeah, to, so that way you can go through the, the gate that's, like, near it. Once again. Right, okay. Now, wow, where's the, wow. now where would the red one be? Oh, yeah, I'm looking right at it, and I need yes. to go through it now. Yes, sir. And you should be free. Freedom! Checkpoint Checkpoint. Reach. Yay! Only it's probably terrible, because that probably means something bad's going to happen, in my experience. Well, with that be me, well, I was, oh. Well, I'm in a cold area, and my screen started filling with ice. All right, so I'm looking at a, ch a set of chess pieces, and um, I'm in an area that's cold with my, I got ice in the corner of all my screens. All right, so oh, let me oh, see if I can ice find in all the corners of my screen, blah. And it looks like... It looks like the chess pieces, I can interact with them, except it says that they are frozen solid, so I can't do anything yet. I need to be able to unfreeze them first and foremost. I also have a power generator right here. Okay, yeah, I, okay, the power right, generator so activates. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, this part's me first. Okay, it was like a timed thing, you have to hit, oops. <laughs> It's like a timed minigame thing. You have to hit the interact button when the needle is in the green. Uh, I fucked up. I fucked <laughs> up and hit it in the red, and now my screen is filled with more ice. Oh, shit. <laughs> you done fucked up, eh, eh, Ron? Well, you have to, like, hit it, like, right before it gets there because there's a tiny bit of input lag. Uh, yeah, I got you. All right, I powered the generator on my end. I'm pretty sure you have to do the same thing. There's also a crank, like what you were talking about. Yeah. Turn handle. Let's see. Rotate the lever. Can I, can I do a thing? Can I, can, can I play the film? Uh, the, the, the prompt is very... Okay, um, well, I did something on my end. I got a generator power crank, and uh, whatever happened... I'm not sure what the hell happened, actually. Okay, I, I can rewind this film now. Oh, okay, so and I powered something up for you. Hopefully I can play... Okay, yeah, yeah, you did, you did. Cool. I can watch this movie. Show me your secrets. Yeah, hopefully it'll tell you how to make me oh. play, make this place warm so I can play chess. Okay, fourth from the right, move forward... To, uh, fourth pawn from the right, move up two spaces. Fourth from the right? Yes. Wait, is that right if I'm looking at it like a normal player from behind them? Yes. Oh shit, I'm filling up with ice too fast. Okay, fourth from the right, from the... Shit, 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 shit. One, two, three, four. Move it forward two spaces? Yes. And then okay. I have to play it again. Hold on. I don't think we can take too long or I'm going to freeze to death. I, th I think I see why they put a checkpoint here. Okay, do you have to move the black pieces too or just the white ones? I can't move the black ones. Okay. Wait, so wait, next wait, 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 maybe. Maybe I can? Oh, I can. I can, but only some of them. Only some of them have indicators. Okay, so the pawn directly across the one you just moved, uh -huh. you can move it two spaces so that way it's, like, right in front of that one. All 
I already did it. Alright. I have to keep on rewinding the freaking thing every time. Yeah, that kind of sucks with the time limit they put on us in this. Can I, I need to rewind the thing. Why is the prompt so crazy? <laughs> it's like, I have to be like be looking at an exact spot on the damn film. Yeah, it's a little touchy about the prompts. It's like you're, oh shit. Well, I can barely see a goddamn thing now. We, uh... We uh, might have taken too long. We might have to. <laughs> we might have to restart from the checkpoint in this well, area. Well, now we know what we know. At least what we need to do. So. Yeah, I mean, at, at the very least, I'm not dead yet. So let's keep trying. Okay. So the. Uh, trying to forget to think of the name. The name of that piece. What is, what is that piece? Rook, bishop, king, queen, knight. Oh, hold on, I need to rewind it. It's the the one with the the cross crown. Is that, is that the bishop? I think that's the bishop. Uh, can't really tell on my end. They're not oh. shaped like that. Uh, is it the one that was directly behind the pawn I moved? It was... Yeah, I'm trying to look at it right now. Hold on. So that would be the king. It's not directly behind it, but it's to the right of it. Okay, to the right behind it, to the queen. Yes. So what? Okay. Moved. Move diagonal left. Of How to far? Where, to where it's two spaces above the third from the left. Uh. Oh shit. This one is complicated as shit. Yeah, you probably you're better off. The queen can only move in one direction right now. It's just telling me how many squares she can move. Because she can only move up to one, two, three, four squares diagonally in her current position. I actually think it wasn't the queen. I, th I think it was the right uh, bishop. Diagonal up left. Oh, uh, okay, four okay, spaces. okay. There's a lot of steps to this, so you might have to cut a lot from this. Because it'd be pretty boring to watch all of this. Yeah, the whole thing just reset because I think I put the thing in the wrong spot. Oh, shit. Yeah, if you put one in the wrong spot, it resets the whole thing, it looks like. so. But okay. I, I remembered. I remembered. So, obviously I had the first two right. So, right bishop up the diagonal, left four spaces. I think the problem was, okay, one, two, three. Oh, nope, there it goes, I died. <laughs> Froze to death. Retry from checkpoint. Alrighty, everyone, well, I think that'll be it for this. Uh, we made some pretty decent progress and re recorded for well over an hour, but had to cut out a lot of wandering and figuring out what the hell to do. But, um... But I would say this is actually pretty, pretty interesting concept, pretty fun co-op game. Uh, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, definitely. I was just doing what I do best, getting lost. <laughs> Which, considering where you were, there wasn't even a whole lot of getting lost to be done. That was more my thing. Yeah, you, you should be extremely grateful you were not doing my side of it. I, I still but, managed to do it. <laughs> it was a difficult thing to do, but I managed. I managed. But, um... If you'd like to see us play more of this in the future, because there's more of this game to be played, and it looks like the puzzles are just going to get more difficult, and who knows, there might even be some actual enemies to worry about. One of the patch notes said something about you can no longer sneak past the marionette, and my heart What is the marionette? Like, what? Yeah, so if you'd like to see us play more of this and continue to brave these things, and as long as we don't have to start the whole thing over, we would be happy to keep playing it in the future. Um... But as I said, that'll be it for this episode. So as per usual, thank you all so much for watching. My name is Oversoul. This is Oversoul Gaming. Thank you to Darklight Dreamer for joining me. Check out his channel. There'll be a link in the description down below. He has uh, he has possibly one of the best Outlast playthroughs I have ever seen, and I even say that having watched Markiplier's. So it's uh, truly one of my favorites. Oh, thank you very much. It's, it's my pleasure being on the channel, man. Thank you very much. Indeed. Uh, definitely glad to have you. 
And as per usual, I will catch you, possibly on another day, definitely at another time, and likely in another video. See you later, guys. Okay, okay goodbye.